Hello, I'm Quirky Kirk Hacks, and I am an unprofessional pen tester. The reception to my last couple videos on pen testing in the OSCP were received far better than I would have thought, and much better than they deserved, frankly. Before I get carried away here and get on my soapbox, I'd like to just take a second to sincerely thank all of you who've watched, liked, commented, subscribed, shared, all that nonsense. It really means a lot to me. But given the fact that you guys like these videos so much, I think it's only right that I try to make more. Therefore, in the interest of making more stuff, I plan on doing a couple videos loosely following the PIN 200 syllabus, which is publicly available and I'll have the link in the description provided YouTube doesn't take me down again. I'll obviously not be including any actual training materials or labs from the PIN 200 in these videos. I'll just be using the syllabus as a rough guide, so offsec, please don't take away my cert. As a matter of fact, I won't even be using the Offset Proving Grounds labs to demonstrate any more of this. Uh, I know that Offset doesn't really, really like uh, people doing walkthroughs on those for videos, so I'll more than likely be doing Try Hack Me and Hack the Box stuff for demonstrations just in the interest of keeping the peace. With that said, most of the opening bits of the syllabus aren't super useful, so for this first introductory episode of this pen testing for dummies guide we're going to kind of blast our way through the intro stuff so we can put fingers on keys next time sound good all right let's get started so what is pen testing and why should you care penetration testing or pen testing is hacking with consent with all the security breaches and vulnerabilities popping up every day, it's no surprise that companies want competent hackers to test their defenses. That's where pen testers come in. Pen testers will try to hack their way into a company's network at their requests with a myriad of different methods. Phishing from a domain user account, from outside the network. Some people even try to break into the building. That's the nitty gritty of it anyway. Sometimes the pen testers are given all or some information of the network prior to hacking it. A white box or gray box test and sometimes they are given zero information in a black box test that's more or less what you're going to be going through with the OSCP exam so how do they do it how do these people hack their way into networks of these companies well in order to learn this it's important to look at the life cycle of a penetration test a penetration test is generally separated into seven steps different sources will give different numbers and different names for the steps, but the principle is more or less the same. The seven steps are pre-engagement, reconnaissance, or open source intelligence gathering, scanning and enumeration, exploitation and gaining access, escalation of privileges, maintaining access, post-exploitation reporting and risk analysis, and remediation. Then pre-engagement and OSINT steps aren't super important for the exam, but we'll cover the first two here briefly. Pre-engagement is more or less when you'll meet with a client, define the scope of the pen test, and set your rules of engagement and contact information. In layman's terms, you'll discuss what you can and can't do and who to contact if you break some crap. Reconnaissance slash OSINT, or Open Source Intelligence Gathering, is a fancy way of saying cyber stalking. Genuinely, that's what this is more or less. This would be used to gather information about a company, maybe some specific employees for targeted phishing attempts, or whaling if you're targeting a C-level dude. There's no shortage of good resources for this, but the one that I've seen thrown around everywhere is OSINTframework.com. This is a collection of sources for open source intelligence gathering, and there's some great stuff to mess with here whenever you get some free time. Again, not super important for the OSCP, but it's a good tool to get a handle on. Good to have in your bookmarks. In certain physical penetration tests, where you're trying to sneak into a building, you might even use a drone to gather information about the perimeter of the area during this stage. You may sit in a parking lot to see what time people leave or lock the place down. Again, not important to the exam itself, but it's cool stuff to know about. There's actually a really cool video about people trying to break the US power grid through a penetration test. Um, I mean, they don't actually break it, but they show the weaknesses. It's really cool. I'll link that video somewhere. Uh, the next step, scanning and enumeration. Well, it's probably the single most important part of the penetration test, in my opinion, especially for the OSCP exam. In fact, it's so big and important. We're going to call it here and start the next video with it. I hope you enjoyed the laid back environment and mood setting of this video, because next time we're putting fingers to keys. So 
Get ready to work your fingers off. Anywho, thank you so much for watching, and I cannot wait to see you next time.